Well, hello world, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. The main purpose of my blogs right now is to talk about what it is like for me to live on the autism spectrum. Um, I, eventually, I would eventually would like to uh, turn my blog into a mini Good Morning America for the geek world and I'd like to talk about the latest trends at Comic Con and Dragon Con and uh, s sit down and have a heart to heart conversation with Dr. Temple Grandin and uh, and different types of scientists uh, in areas of mathematics and biology and astronomy as they talk about their latest findings to uh, nerds who like to build like to build giant Daleks and then possibly sit down with some celebrities like Tara Strong and John Delancey and um, Andrea Libman I mean um, outside of their pony characters they're just um, they seem like very interesting individuals um, but right now I would like to um, be a guide for others on the autism spectrum and helping you tackle um, those neurotypicals that can be quote unquote a uh, pain on the butt. Uh, and so anyway, tonight I would like to talk about um, a recent event that happened over Memorial Day weekend. Um, uh, as you know, as everybody is now learning, there was a 22-year-old young man by the name of uh, of Elliot Roger. And he was the son of one of the directors for the Hunger Games. Now, I don't know if uh, if those movies or the books had uh, had triggered him, had helped shape him to pull off what he did. But for what I do know, and from what I have read, is that he was on the autism spectrum himself. And the reason why he had uh, managed to pull off what he did was it sounds like he had evidently snapped, and it was because he had uh, he was taught, you know, it, I think it were it, he was angry towards African Americans and uh, some other white girls because he wanted a girlfriend so bad, and he was mad that, um, for instance, that nobody want nobody was attracted to him, but the but African Americans who he didn't find attractive were choosing were being chosen by really pretty white girls so he made African Americans and um, and other pretty pretty white girls his target and as a result the uh, seven of those people were dead are dead now including himself so anyway another thing that I recently read is that he he himself had Asperger's syndrome and now I know there's a lot of stereotyping out there that people with Asperger's syndrome have a lack of empathy and that we go off and we'll shoot people for no reason and that's usually not the case um, I yeah uh, I myself uh, didn't go off but with a lack of empathy when I was mad at my family no um, usually when Usually when I've gone off at my family, I mean, I haven't pulled out a gun, but I have hit somebody before. And that was because I, I really couldn't communicate. As one of the traits of autism is you can't communicate. You don't know where to turn. There's no support. You don't build the support system. And you don't feel like anybody understands you. Because sometimes, sometimes people don't. Um, and in his case, it doesn't sound like he was bullied it sounded like he was under a great amount of stress and when somebody's under a great amount of that stress and that pressure and maybe maybe depression and self-worth after a while you're gonna get angry um, they now they say that he prop he was also suffering from some form of mental illness I mean I don't know if he had I don't know if I would describe autism as a mental illness I mean he might have had something else like schizophrenia or something but then again, the media likes to put out a bunch of stereotypes that are untrue. Um, I, uh, I for one, have advice for you neurotypicals that are be, be, who are being a pain in the butt right now. And I'm specifically talking about, about the ones that, that think you're experts because you're reading all these top papers that people with Asperger's syndrome uh, are cold heartless monsters and we don't care for anybody and the truth in the thing is that's not true um, now the same you know I heard the same type of crap that was out about uh, Adam Lanza back when he shot those children at Sandy Hook Elementary 
And, uh, mind you, uh, there was a, uh, I was chatting with a woman online, uh, online for, uh, for my congregation, where, for, uh, my, for my congregation, because uh, I was watching online, because that time I was at home due to a medical, due to a medical situation, and this was right after, uh, the incident, uh, as Sandy Hook had happened, and, um, uh, Right away, someone who was a social worker uh, put it out there. I mean, she just made a bunch of stupid comments that people with Asperger's syndrome uh, have a lack have a lack of empathy, and they're all like Adam Lanza. And I said, "Excuse me, but I have Asperger's syndrome." And she said, "Well, I'm well. I listen to the experts." And I said, "Well, that doesn't make you an expert, now does it?" And I said, "I basically told her to shut up, and I am not kidding. I told her to shut up." You know, and, I, and I, mind you, I was mad. Um, <laughs> so, for those of you who are making those kind of comments, keep your mouth shut, do your research, learn everything you can about autism and Asperger's by going to going and listening to Dr. Temple Grandin's books, Thinking in Pictures, and going to her website. And then also um, go out and meet somebody with Asperger syndrome, and don't. Don't listen to respond. Listen to understand. So, until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. Bye.